is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Darion, coming to y'all live with another video. It is the Spotlight Sports Talk. Shout out to all the subscribers that have subscribed to the YouTube page. If this is your first time ever being at our YouTube page, I would suggest that you subscribe and hit that bell button to get the latest news in all sports. But we're back here with another Raiders video now we're here to do some NFL free agency and what players can really fit with my Las Vegas Raiders and I got one person in mind one person in mind and I have to say it is Emmanuel Sanders a good fit for the Las Vegas Raiders now I have to say that the Las Vegas Raiders are looking for a wide receiver one as they enter the new league year. And Emmanuel Sanders could be one of the targets at this position. Now, last season, the Oakland Raiders, formerly now is the Las Vegas Raiders, definitely figured that they could finally be set, you know, at the time, knowing that Antonio Brown was there last year as the wide receiver one on the roster. You know, we did trace some picks to the Pittsburgh Steelers to have his services. But unfortunately, the Raiders and Antonio Brown didn't even play a single down in the silver and black. And the only team that he actually suited up for was the New England Patriots for one serious game. Now, due to this, Tyrell Williams had to play the number one receiver. And he proved to be a touchdown machine early in the season. But due to injuries, really derails him in the first season with the Raiders. Now, as the team holds their first season in Sin City, the Las Vegas Raiders, I have to say, will be looking to fill that one, that wide receiver one slot and could be so in free agency. Now, I have to say, Emmanuel Sanders is one of the names that does come up who did play for the Denver Broncos and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, with the 49ers, he played a key role in the team, making it all the way to the Super Bowl and could have had a for ever moment knowing that if Jimmy Garoppolo did not overthrow him in the Super Bowl in in the late game of that game but according to Gil Brandon of the NFL.com they does say that the veteran wide receiver could be a perfect match for the Raiders in 2020 now even though that he is 33 years old knowing that Sanders is still a productive wide receiver and definitely have a few solid years definitely under him now the big question for me is that well I, I did a video on this earlier and I have to say the big question is surrounding the Raiders offseason once again would be the status of Derek Carr now if you have not saw my video of Derek Carr um should we keep him or should we not keep him definitely go up in your right hand corner and please hit that video and I'll tell you why we should keep Derek Carr as our Las Vegas Raiders quarterback now Derek Carr did set a career high in passing yards for 4,054 yards and 21 touchdowns this year, and he had a 70% completion percentage in 2019. Now, he did accomplish all of the, he, can, he did all of this without a true number one wide receiver. Now, I could only imagine just being under John Gruden's office, which would be the third year for him. He would have a reliable option at the top of the depth chart coming out of the wide receiver position. Now, I understand that Emmanuel Sanders is, I can say he is up in their age. He is 33 years old. I can say that. But Gruden is an offensive guy that definitely get production out of older guys in his past. Look at the older receivers between Tim Brown and Jerry Rice. Now, Sanders may not be a Hall of Famer like those guys, I have to say, but he can still get it done at a high level and has a ton of experience playing in the AFC West. Now, for the right price, I wouldn't mind going to get him and having him bring Sanders to the Raiders. He is incredibly reliable at the position and the team needs a veteran leader at the wide receiver position. But it still remains seen what the team plans to do with Derek Carr, but the trio of Sanders, Tyrell Williams, Hunter Renfro, and the wideout um, definitely could be coupled by the tight end of Darren Waller, which definitely took a huge step in the year of 2019. And the the snubbed rookie of the year, which I think he should have got rookie of the year, and our running back, Josh Jacobs. And it would have made it 
an office extremely hard to defend. And I would love to go get Emmanuel Sanders knowing that we have to compete with the Chiefs. We have to compete with the Broncos. We have to compete with the Chargers knowing that every every all them three teams have good receivers that can make plays. Now, I, I do want to compete for the wideouts against these teams just because it's our division. It's the AFC West. So at the end of the day, I just feel like Emmanuel Sanders would be a great fit, not just a good fit, a great fit. And I feel like if we keep Derek Carr, if we keep Derek Carr, that's another weapon he could throw to. Now, I can say, like I said in my last video, if he go out and get Emmanuel Sanders to help out Derek Carr, John Gruden is going to have to expand his playbook. And I'm going to have to tell you why, because when Antonio Brown got released, John Gruden had to you know, crunch the playbook down. So it's not really many plays that Derek Carr really had to work with to open up the office, to make him go deep or anything of that nature. But we have to think of this though. We have to think of this because Emmanuel Sitter still got speed. The guy still has speed. The guy knows what he's doing when it comes to uh, beating defenders. He has short hands. The guy know what he's doing when he's on the field. He know how to manipulate defenses when he's out on that field. And I feel like Emmanuel Sanders is a great fit. I love this pickup if we go out and get him in free agency. Now, should we still go out in the draft and get a wide receiver? Absolutely. You know why? Because Emmanuel Sanders can mold that wide receiver into being a great route runner, a great catcher, knowing how what zones to pick on and what defense against good defenses and top defenses in the NFL. Emmanuel Sanders is definitely great against, I can say, a mostly he can do everything. Catch the ball, yards after the catch. He could return punts. He's a very doable player. I understand that he's 33 and the Raiders going to be like, oh, he's so old. We don't need him. We need younger talent. You need to mix younger talent with the older talent so they can get that experience. And that's what I love about the NFL. You could do both. But the Raiders definitely need to go out and target Emmanuel Sanders. I think this is a great fit. I would love to see Emmanuel Sanders in a silver and black uniform playing behind this beautiful stadium in Las Vegas. But let me know what you think about this video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think. Is Emmanuel Sanders a good fit for the Las Vegas Raiders? Comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It is the Spotlight Sports Talk, and I will see y'all in the next Raiders video. Peace.